going to start with looking at the ribbon and I'm going to do that in Word. So if I just uh, fire up Word. The ribbon was first introduced in 2007 and I would guess that most people uh, will have seen the ribbon. Uh, and it's Microsoft's replacement for the old menus and toolbars. Uh, the ribbon hasn't changed a great deal in terms of concepts. You've still got the tabs up here and the groups. What they have done is they've replaced the file uh, menu, the old office button, the little round button that was at the top corner, that's been replaced with file. So if I click file, what that will do is it will give us what's called the backstage view and I'm going to talk more about this backstage view in a few minutes but you've got on here you save you save as you open you close and so on and so forth now you can hide the ribbon up in the top corner might have to zoom in a little bit for that but up in the top corner you've got little button there and that will hide the ribbon and redisplay it and the big thing about this version of Office is that the ribbon can be uh, customised, which it couldn't be in the old version. So if I right click, you can right click anywhere on the ribbon or you can go through the file command and go to options. But the quickest way is to right click anywhere on the ribbon and go to customise the ribbon. And when you go to customize the ribbon, what you've got here, if I just close this up, this one's open because I'm actually on the references uh, tab. So I'll close that one up and this is showing me which uh, tabs are currently active. And you'll notice that by default, the developer one isn't. So if I actually tick that and click on OK, then the developer tab now becomes available. And uh, if I click on it, that opens up the developer tab. So that's how I can uh, turn on any of the tabs that aren't displayed by default or if they've been turned off I can turn them back on again. I can also hide or remove any of these groups. So for example I want to remove the code group. So back to customizing the ribbon and just go to code. Within code you can see you've got visual basic macros, record macro etc which are the individual buttons here. You can't remove those individual buttons but with code selected if I click on remove that has taken it off. Click on OK and the whole code group has disappeared. Let's go back in to customize ribbon. I'll actually reset the whole thing. Reset all customizations click on OK and that should that actually has turned off the developers uh, toolbar as well. So if I expand, uh, well, let's let's just expand some of these. You can see that uh, some of these, as I say, can't be uh, removed. Some of them can be. If I wanted to add a new uh, tab, then there's actually a new tab button here. Before I show you that, I'll just show you that you can rearrange the order. So choose mailings and I'm going to take mailings right up to the top. Click on OK. And you should now see that we've got mailings as the first. Forget file. File's always there. It's the replacement for the office button. But uh, mailings is the first uh, tab. Go back to customize. I'm just trying to show you these one thing at a time. So that's how we could rearrange the order of the tabs. If I wanted to add a new tab, a completely new tab, I'll click on new tab here and it gives me a new tab. It also gives me a new group because every tab must have at least one group. So with that tab selected, I'll rename it. I'll call it uh, Mike's tab. And I could leave that as new group, but I'll rename that as well. And I'll call that uh, Mike's group. Very adventurous with my naming. If I click on OK, you will actually see, zoom out there, you will actually see uh, Mike's tab. Mike's tab with Mike's group. Nothing in it as yet. So let's go back to customize the ribbon. And with Mike's group, what I can do is I can then add individual commands into it. Make sure Mike's group selected and let's add a copy. Let's add a new. Instead of popular commands, let's go to uh, commands not in the ribbon. Uh, 
So these are commands that are available in uh, Word that aren't by default on the ribbon. So something like, what should we choose? Um, character right. Let's go for something like that. And now we have our uh, new tab with our new group. You can also customise the quick access toolbar, which you could always do in Office 2007. You could do that uh, and that is still the same. So you've got the quick access toolbar up here above the ribbon. And if you click the drop down arrow, you get a default set of commands, which Microsoft have decided on. So if I wanted to add new to that, I can just click on new and that's added that there. If I wanted to add uh, open, that's added that there. And if I wanted to add one of the commands that wasn't on there, I can go to more commands just like I did with the ribbon and I can add other commands. And whilst I'm in here, I can also rearrange the uh, order of the existing commands. So let's move uh, save further down. Click on OK. So that wasn't new, that particular feature, that was uh, available in 2007, but uh, they've still got it. So the main new feature is the ability to customise the ribbon.